everyone, it's Raphael here, and we're taking on Westbound Sign by Green Day from the Insomniac album. So, let's get right to it. Alright, so let's focus on the intro. Alright, so for the intro, all we have to do are simply three chords. Um, it's gonna be a B flat, a G minor, and then an E flat, all right? So I'll go ahead and show you the finger placements right now. So we are going to cover the sixth fret. We're gonna bar it with our index finger, put our ring finger down on the A, and our um, pinky down on the D string, and this middle finger should go down on the G, all right? So it'll be like this. So listen to the original song to get the strong pattern. It's pretty fast, so it's gonna be like around that speed, and then next thing we're gonna do is do a G minor, so all you're simply gonna do is slide, so keep your original finger placement and slide to the third fret, and take your middle finger off, and that should be a G minor. And then the next thing you're gonna do is an E flat, so that's the original um, position, but put down your um, fingers down the string, so that's gonna be the E flat right here, so. And then back to a B flat. And then once you've got those chords mastered, all you gotta do is um, get the strum pattern and the timing, so... So that's the um, slow version, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like the original song is about... So it's around that fast, so once you got that down mastered, the rest of the song should be actually quite easy because the, the next thing we're gonna do is the verses now, so let's go ahead and get right to it. So yeah, there we go. So it's gonna be four chords this time, so B flat, F, G minor, and then back to an E flat, all right? So. Then that's all you gotta do. So it goes to an F, then back to a G minor, and then ends at the E flat, and you repeat that until the chorus, where the chorus is actually the same chords as the intro, it goes, Then the verses. So yeah, once you got that down, you pretty much got most of the song at this point. And then the next thing we're going to do is pretty much the only different parts of the entire song. So once you've got the um, intro and the verses chords down, you've got the timing and everything else you're pretty much done with the majority of the song and there is a section that comes after the second chorus where it's a little bit different but it's still not too difficult but I'm gonna go and play it right now I have the timestamp on screen right now if you're if you are wondering what I'm talking about but it's the section where it goes Alright, so we're gonna start with an F, um, go right to a G sharp, and then go to an E flat, and then to the B flat, alright? We're gonna repeat that a couple of times until, um, you know, Billy Joe repeats the chorus again, and then you get to the outro chords, that's like the ending of the song, where it's pretty much the same as the um, intro, it goes back to... So it ends right at the B flat, alright? So um, repeat the outro chords, it'll be simply... Yeah, just like that, so it ends right at the B flat, right? That's your starting chord and that's your ending chord, alright? And then um, once you've got all that down, like, let me go ahead and show you. So the G sharp is simply just over here, so it's a regular G, just go up one fret, you're gonna be barring the fourth fret, 
and that will be the G sharp that you'll play. And then the E flat. And once you've got all that down, um, your set, that's westbound sign, um, again, like, the only thing really that's difficult is the timing of the strumming, but the chords should be a piece of cake um, if you're, like, if you've got the down, it should be a piece of cake to play. And um, just listen to the original song and take it a bit slow as well if you find the strum pattern a bit confusing, but other than that, you've got westbound sign, so Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you out. I'll see you soon.